guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been months since I have posted a favorites video and that's because I was kind of on like a maternity leave. If you guys are new to my channel, I just had a baby and I'm just getting back into the swing of things, filming videos. My baby is almost two months old, oh my god, it's crazy. But yeah, this is the second time I have sat down to film videos and I haven't filmed like anything in between that. And I have been a religious favorites video poster Ever since I started my channel, I have never missed a month of favorites, and so I missed a few months, and I was like, okay, how do I want to do this favorites video? Like, do I want to do all the stuff I loved in those couple of months, the best of the best, and what I ended up doing was just kind of going through my makeup collection, popping my head into the bathroom, and thinking like, okay, what are the things that I have used the absolute most during this postpartum phase? Like, just what have I reached for the most? And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video, so... I guess technically this is like an October favorites. It would be what, like <laughs> July, August, September, October, like four months worth of favorites. Um, but we're just gonna call it my current favorites and then I'll pick up with favorites videos like next month. Okay, so because I am a brand new mom and because I have a newborn, I'm all about getting ready really fast. I don't typically have hours to get ready anymore. It's usually like five minutes, 10 minutes, if that, if I'm even putting makeup on, if I'm being truly honest with you guys, probably 80% of the days I just haven't even worn makeup just because I, I've been home with my baby or I just have no desire to put makeup on, whatever it may be. But when I do grab makeup, I kind of have some staple products that I will use. It's a concealer, a brow pencil, a highlighter, or a blush, or a combination of both just to give some like freshness back to my face. And that's pretty much it. So... I have a couple of those to share with you guys. Let's talk about concealer first. First, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I just recently used this, maybe a month ago I started using it, and it's really good. It's kind of like a cheaper version of the Tarte Shape Tape. It's thick, it blends really easily, it covers my dark circles, and I'm telling you I have crazy dark circles right now because I'm a little sleep deprived. <laughs> I got a newborn downstairs. Um, so this is really good, and it comes in a ton of different colors. So there's that. And then for something a little bit more expensive, a little bit more high-end, kind of, sort of, is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Um, this does not have as many color options, but it is really good. And I found myself using this quite a bit during my like late pregnancy, early postpartum, to just kind of like put slightly all over my face. Like I'll use it to cover my under eyes and then kind of like just drag it out basically on the whole face, <laughs> if I'm being honest. What I like about this one is the applicator is really cool. The doe foot has like a hole in it. I don't know if you can see, but it's not a hole, it's like an indent and it collects the perfect amount of concealer to just put under your eyes without going too crazy. And I think that contributes to the whole cakeless thing. It's supposed to be like full coverage without looking cakey. And I think they do achieve that. Plus it's a really cute package. It kind of looks like a pencil. So there's that. As far as like what I set that with, so if I'm putting concealer on, I have to set it. I can't just let it go uh, because it'll crease on me. So I've been reaching for this Hourglass palette a ton. This is their new Holiday Ghost palette. I love these palettes. I've talked about them. I've talked about this particular one in every single video I've filmed so far since I came back from my maternity leave. Uh, but I've been setting it with this yellow color in here. Nothing new. I have a full-size pan of that, and I've talked to you guys about it before. But the fact that it's in this palette makes it so easy and convenient. There's a ton of really good colors in this palette, you guys. You have Dim Light, which is a perfect all-over face color. I actually have that on, like, the apples in my cheeks today, if you're wondering kind of why my cheeks are glowy. There's a highlighter in this palette that I have like up here. There's a bronzer and then there's two blushes. I think that these palettes are amazing. I have the two from last year. I plan on buying like all of them if I can. The only thing is they do repeat colors quite frequently. So look at the ones you have to make sure you're not repeating colors. But this is just, it's nice to have a nice, easy, all-in-one face palette. I can set my eyes really quick. I can kind of dig into dim and or dim, dim light. Yeah, dim light and just kind of like put a little something on my face to give me a little bit of a glow, bring my skin back to life a little bit, pop into the highlighter, a little bit of highlight, blush, you know, just, just do something really quick without like having to fuss and spend a ton of time. When I do want to spend time to do blush, I have a lot of blush. I don't know why. I guess blush just gives you that motherly glow and just, I don't know, something about blush. Um, they also released a blush quad that has four blushes in it. The only repeat color is nude brilliant nude which I didn't have yet so that's good and then these are three new colors 
These are so nice because they have that ambient powder like woven within them so they give you just a little bit of a glow. They look dark in the pan but they actually swatch a little bit lighter but there's just something about the Hourglass blushes they're hands down my favorite. So I've been loving that. I also picked up this Natasha Denona blush uh, duo a little while ago. It has like a peach color in it and then a pink color in it. These are really good. They're really powdery though. I just realized how powdery they are right now when I open this. Um, but they have the same formulation as the Natasha Denona eyeshadow, so they're really creamy. And these are a little bit expensive, but I think you get a lot of product for your money. And these colors, this comes in like a bunch of different colors. This one is in the color 15 Sheer Nude. No, 10 Sheer Nude. I'll link it down below. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I don't know. There's a bunch of numbers and things on the back, but this is one I've been reaching for. Or this Cover Effects, um blush duo I've also been reaching for a lot this is in the color warm honey so you have a matte and then kind of like a iridescent color right here these are really richly pigmented so if you are deep skin you will love these because they are really rich richly richly pigmented my lash is falling off which is why I keep touching it to like pop it back down um but yeah you can kind of get a matte and then a like a glazy color on top shimmery highlighty color on top in the same color range so that's good and then I also picked up the Benefit Cookie Highlighter a little while back. This is good. I don't, I don't love the intensity of it, I'm going to be honest. But see, look at how, it's just like pow. Can you guys see that? I want to make sure you can see that. It's because my lighting is blowing everything out a little bit. I'm sitting right in front of a window. This is a highlighter. If you really want to glow, that's what this is for. This is nice when I really want to just look alive. I will wear this when I'm wearing nothing else, but I want to like run to the grocery store or something to just look alive because it is really, really pal. I sheer it out because if you cake it on like that, like it's going to look a little strange to just be wearing highlighter. But if you just want to like get like a blush brush and like kind of pop it on your cheeks a little bit, um, you just you just look more alive and it is really pretty but it is, it is like really intense but I've been loving that a lot lately so those are kind of the cheek products that I've been loving the brow pencil I've basically only been using one brow pencil if I'm being totally honest and it's the benefit precisely my brow um, I do have the brow whiz so that's a lie I've been using two the Anastasia brow whiz but I ran out of that and I've been using this a lot lately um, this is in the color 2.5 I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I didn't realize they expanded their color range. They used to only have like six different colors. Then they added the 0 .5, I think they also have 0.25 in between some of those color ranges to add different tones. So they used to be just like strictly warm or cool tone, but now they have like the same colors but in different tones. So you can really find a match for your brows. If you tried them like a few years ago and you couldn't find a match for your brows, Check it out now because they expanded the color range quite a bit. 2.5 is nice. That's what I'm wearing on my brows today because it's just a little bit more neutral. Before I was using 2, which was a little bit more on the warm side. So again, it's just your preference, whatever you like. But that's the brow pencil I've been using. Whew, I'm talking really fast. Um, when I have worn eyeshadow, I actually discovered this in my last like couple of months of pregnancy. It's the Bare Minerals Gen Nude liquid shadows I believe is what they're called these remind me a ton of the Stila glitters the Urban Decay liquid um, MAC has a ver variation of this I love liquid shadows when I'm trying to get ready in a hurry and these are beautiful can you see that yes you can look at how pretty that is this one is in the color pink opal I actually loved this so much that I went and bought all the colors. I'm not lying, you guys. I have all the colors. When my mom came in town um, right before I delivered, I was like, Mom, before I have this baby, we got to go to Ulta because I got to buy all the colors. So I got Sunstone, Golden Topaz. There's another one in here. Uh, Citrine. They're like beige. They're just so pretty because they have like a metallic opaqueness to them and they look so nice on the lids. Once they're on and they dry, they don't crease and they just, they're so effortless. You can put that on your lid and then get a eyeshadow brush and kind of buff out the edges and the little shimmer flecks in it will kind of like spread out. You can get away with wearing just this and it looks so pretty. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. Yeah, so if I go over it with my finger, it just buffs out ever so slightly and the color, like the glitters just, oh my God, 
so pretty. I love them. When I have been wearing stuff on my eyes, aside from today, um, it's been this pink opal color right here. So look at that. Look at how stinking pretty that is. Easy and effortless. That's what I like. Okay, so on my lips, I've been really loving bold colors. I think it's because even if I'm wearing nothing on my face, <laughs> a bold lip makes it look like you put a lot of effort into your makeup look. You know what I mean? Like, oh wow, she's wearing makeup because she's wearing a bold lip. So there's two that I want to talk to you guys about. Right now I'm wearing Too Faced Gingerbread Man, which I love also, but I wore it for the first time this season today, so I can't like call it a favorite yet, but like I'm loving it. Um, Lancome has these balm lipsticks. I love balm lipsticks because they're nice and hydrating and they're just easy, but these are really pigmented. Look at that. This one is in the color 398 and I just love it. It has like a purple berryness to it. They're nice and easy and effortless. Perfect for the mom on the go, the girl on the go. Put it on your car while you're driving. There's that. Um, another product from Lancome. These are their lip glosses, but their lip glosses are so nice. They're nice and opaque and not sticky. Look at that. Ooh wee. Do you see that? That was a horrible swatch. Let me do that again. <laughs> there you go. I love this one. This was in a, this one is in the color 317. I think it's called Rise and Shine. Um, but it's just a bold kind of pop of color. This one's like a bright, kind of like Gingerbread Man, but a little bit more on the pink side. Nice and glossy. Glosses are nice too because they're quick and easy. Um, Lancome actually sent this one to me to test out. I've talked to you guys about these before though. In fact, I have had this color before. Um, I just love their lip glosses a ton. So that's pretty much all I've been wearing on my lips is a lip gloss, a lip balm with a lot of color in it. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for makeup. The last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was a hair care product that I kind of rediscovered my love for. It's the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Primer Spray. I am a big fan of an all-in-one. Can you even see that? Woo, the lighting is blowing it out really bad. Mm. I'll link it down below for you, as with everything. But I'm a huge fan of all-in-one hair products, especially now that I'm trying to get ready fast. You know, the mom thing. But this is kind of like, remember a few years ago when we had that It's a 10 and everyone loved It's a 10. I still love It's a 10, by the way. But it was that all-in-one spray where it like detangled, heat protected, defrizzed, all-in-one. That's the Bumble and Bumble version. This is the Bumble and Bumble version of that. What I like about this is it's nice and thin, so I don't feel like it's weighing down my hair. And because it's part of that invisible oil line, it just adds softness to your hair. And it smells really good. And it's Bumble and Bumble. So... Yeah, I've been loving that for my hair, and pretty much, guys, that's it. That's pretty much all I've been wearing on my face for the past four months. <laughs> for foundation, it's usually been a powder foundation. Um, mascara, I've just kind of been using what I have left in my drawer. I haven't wanted to open up anything new quite yet, although Charlotte Tilbury sent me a package, and that mascara is bomb, you guys. But I just started using it, so I don't want to call it like a super favorite yet, but it is bomb. One last product I have to tell you guys about, and I almost forgot to tell you guys about it because it was hiding in my bathroom, but we're gonna tell you, I didn't want to forget, is the Jergens Body Butter. So this is their Triple Blend Body Butter, Triple Butter Blend. That is really hard to say, Triple Butter Blend Body Butter. So they sent this to me a little while ago to test out, probably a few weeks ago. I've been using it nonstop. Postpartum, my skin has been so super dry. It's been a thing. I think it has to do with the weather changing and my hormones and all that stuff, but these have been a lifesaver. Of course, I've been loving my Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath & Body Works because that released again. Woo! That's my favorite, you guys know. But this lavender scent, they also sent me the Sweet Citrus scent, which also smells really nice, but it's more of like a summery scent. Lavender is nice all year long. But this is really thick and creamy and definitely helps with my dry skin. And it's Jergens, so it's really affordable and it's easily accessible. God, I love the smell of lavender. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me talk about my favorites. If you guys have anything you want to share with me that you've been loving the past few months, let me know down below so that I can check it out. But otherwise, I'm glad to be back. And oh, wait, I have one more. I have a perfume. I almost forgot about this because it's so itty bitty. It's the Toka Maya. So I'm a huge fan of Toka perfumes. Well, I say that and I own one. <laughs> The Toka Julieta, I love. It's one of my favorite perfumes. This I got in a Sephora package, and what I love about it is it has an element of richness to it. It almost smells like raspberry. 
just like sophisticated raspberry and I love it so much. I want the full size version of this so bad. I'm using this little baby one very sparingly <laughs> because the full size version is a little bit on the expensive side, but I'm hoping maybe I can ask for it for Christmas or something. Uh, but yeah, I've been loving that too. Nice and like wintry and fall, which is what we are transitioning into right now. So yeah. Okay, now I'm officially done. Now I'm gonna go check out my baby because I think he's crying and I can't wait to go see him and snuggle him again. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I'll talk to you next time.